you know, I wasn't sure what the grades that the, the young corners got up there were late, but they are definitely trending in the right direction now. How would you describe what you've seen them out of them growth-wise these past few weeks? Uh, tremendous steps. The guys are more de uh, detailing their work. Uh, putting in even more extra time in the film room and the study sessions, asking more questions. A lot of times what you have with a lot of young kids is sometimes they're afraid to, to ask that question because they don't want to seem as the guys that don't know what the, what's going on. And, you know, as much as you always tell them there's no stupid question, just ask a question. Some kids are really gun-shy when it comes to that. And I have a couple kids that, you know, uh, they don't hold back anymore. And they ask the question because they want to know. They don't want to be out there second guessing anything. They want to be able to play free. There was one play that I brought up that uh, Nate got beat on the double move, but recovers and makes the, the really nice you know, nice down the pass in the end zone. Is that an example of that maturity and growth? Well, if you actually go back and you detail that that play, Nate truly was on top, uh, which you would like if Nate had done to turn his head a little bit sooner. Maybe he would, instead of the pass breakup, he would have got the interception. But true and doubt, it still was a it was a great play. Um, it's one of those plays that you know uh, is a sign of maturity, but also a, a sign of being uh, taking coaching and taking the drill work from the practice field onto the game field. Well, you know, it's, you know, you have those daily conversations, but like I said, a lot of times, you know, you're not put to the test until you're actually on the, on the game field. It's one of those things where, you know, a kid who, who's uh, very competitive, you know, has never been really in that situation before because he's a first-time starter. And so, you know, uh, got the best of him a little bit, you know, because he wants to make plays, he's anxious, you know, he's hard on himself. So. You know, as, as a lot of times with young uh, DBs, they don't know how to challenge it, and sometimes it comes out the wrong way. And then the sign of maturity is being able to take the coaching and go back to work and, and really uh, believing in what you're, what you're being told. Yeah, I think Coach Nate also said Toriano just wasn't probably quite ready for that game, but then he saw readiness that next week. I guess what have you seen in terms of him just being well, tested? In that well, you know, a lot of times, like I said, you know, in, in recruiting, you tell these young men that, you know, they're one play away from playing, and... You know, it's like it's, I guess it's uh, recruiting talk for a lot of these young men because there are a lot of people that, you know, give these kids that f false prophecy that, hey, you're going to come in and you're going you're gonna to start from day one. And uh, so a lot of times, you know, kids sit back and they, they count the guys that are in front of them and, you know, truly don't really understand that they're literally one play away from playing. And so to go from being probably a guy who maybe get 10 to 15 plays a game to a guy that's getting approximately 45 to 50 plays a game, you know, it's a, it's a culture. It's a shock, you know. So, you know, it, it was a wake-up call, but it was one where, you know, he, w he was ready for it, you know. And like I said, you know, it, he's, he's grown tremendously, and it's, it's good to see, you know. We're, getting, we're uh, getting more depth in that position that we need. Four blocks now. Do we need to give you, a, like, a green ball, or, you know, you have the old beamer ball or whatever, but <laughs> what, do you, what do you give the credit to for this? I mean, it's, it's incredible. One, the players, you know, because they're actually out there going, they're making plays. Let's just, let's just put it that way. They, they're making the plays. Uh, Coach Eason has done a hell of a job of, you know, putting those guys in position. Uh, and, you know, with the help of all the coaching staff is putting that pressure on those guys. Hey, this is not a play to take off. You know, this is a true sign of what our defense is. You know, as much as we don't like teams to score, you know, but now to go out there on a special teams play and, and, and not take, a, take anything for granted and, and to block it says a lot about our kids. So I say I give my credit to the kids. You know, they, they're the one out there doing it. Anybody from Zoom for Coach? <laughs> Challenges for playing MSU. They got a new pro wide receiver talking about earlier. You know, what does that do for you? I mean, it just, it just, uh, you know, it's why they come here, to play big games. You know, every week is a big game. You know, every every team that we played has had pretty good receivers. You know, and, you know, we're going against another crew that, you know, they've got some good receivers. So uh, we can't let our guard down, and we just got to continue to play and get better. Coach, I got one now. Trevor Grossman, to you back to talk about as a special teams coordinator. Uh, the, the four block uh, kicks and, and punts this season, that's second nationally. Um, how much of a contribution has Coach Easton been in that regard? 
great. I mean, he's brought, he's brought a heck of a, a wealth of knowledge. You know, he's coached a lot of ball. He's played a lot of ball. So when you can uh, institute that type of person and his philosophy and his coaching and his demeanor, it does a lot for us. You know, he's made his presence uh, in, in our room alone and his, and his, and his staff and organization has, has quietly been felt. Well, it's one of those things where you you know you coach uh, one the punters got to relay you know where he punts the ball, and guys have got to do their do their job, and then you got to play with some vision. You can't play blindly uh, on on a football field, you know, because one you'll get in trouble, two you'll get hurt, and so what you do is you tell guys, hey, you know, read your keys and and, and react, and always got to be ready for something some type of trickery. I mean that's. That's the name of the game now. Everybody, everybody wants to, to trick somebody, you know. So you got to be detailed, you know, and read your keys and then make plays. Uh, he's another one of those young uh, young kids that have, you know, like I said, you know, high school is drastically different than playing at Clemson. You know, a lot of things that you can do in high school uh, that you can't do at Clemson. And one of those things that you can't do is you can't be on the practice field and be casual because, you know, you're facing some of the top guys in the country that will expose you. And, uh, and so that was one of his things is the, the practice tempo was a little different. And, you know, we're in, in high school, you could take a couple plays off. You can't do that. A couple play, one play off in practice can mean a touchdown. You know, so it's just, just those type of things that kids, you know, routinely have to, you know, experience, you know. And, and like I said, for him, he's in a position that, you know, we are, we're using guys left and right. So you've got to be ready. And like I said, sometimes guys come in and they see the number of guys that are in front of them and they say, well, well maybe I won't play as much this year. You know, and, and now when you actually see that, you know, what Coach Reed was talking about in recruiting come to fruition, you're like, like wow, okay, I got to get my stuff together. So he's done a great job, and like I said, he's doing, you know, he's, he's taking the coaching, and, and, he's, and he's going with it. Highly athletic. Competitive, uh, has played some corner in his in his career. So it's one of those type of things. Is when you have a young man with that type of skill set, you know he can he, you can plug and play him in, in various positions and he'll excel. You know, and that and that's what you like because you never know in this game. Like I said, you're one play away from playing. You know, so it may be a day where hey he may have to go out there and spend all his time out there because of some injuries. So we're just trying to make sure that we cover everything. You know. I dot our I's and cross our T's in, 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 his, in his game and making sure that, you know, as certain things happen, we're ready for it. You never want to be on a game field on a, or on a game and not have had the experience of being out there, you know. So we do a great job. I heard uh, Coach Streeter talk about guys uh, cross-training. We do a great job of cross-training our young men so that now we can plug and play with a, a various uh, bunch of guys. Thank you, guys. Have a